What is dark matter? Dark matter should be called invisible matter. It's matter that doesn't interact with light or with any other charged particles. It's matter that has nothing to do with light. That's the point. I'm Paul Sutter and this is Paul Explains, the show where I, you know, explain. How do we know that dark matter exists? Well, we don't see it in earth or the solar system you have to look at big scales before dark matter really starts to reveal itself and we saw it first in the 1930s with the motions of galaxies inside of galaxy clusters the the galaxies were just moving way too fast the galaxy cluster should have ripped itself apart billions of years ago but there it was still existing so something had to be gluing all those galaxies even our own galaxy in the Milky Way just shouldn't be here. Then in the 1970s, we discovered that stars are, again, moving way too fast. There has to be an extra source of gravity to hold the stars in. And the source of gravity can't come from something we see like stars or nebula or anything else that glows. Otherwise, we would have seen it and we would have accounted for it. There is something inside of galaxies, there is something inside of galaxy clusters that has mass, that has gravity, but isn't emitting any light. Since the 1970s, we've gone even further to solidify our understanding of dark matter or that we know it exists. From the earliest moments of the universe, we have the cosmic microwave background. This is leftover light from when the universe was just 380,000 years old. And by studying tiny little variations in that light, we can get a picture, a map of what the universe was like back then. And guess what? There was a lot of matter back then that didn't interact with light. So we have all these different pieces of evidence that all fit together and all point to dark matter. Very likely, dark matter or invisible matter is streaming through the room you're in right now. But it doesn't interact with light, doesn't interact with charged particles, it doesn't interact with normal matter. So you just don't see it. You just don't care about it. It's invisible to you. But at the very largest scales, it affects how things move. What we do know for sure is that the dark matter does exist. 